For the past year and a half, I've been using the cheapest electric golf push cart on the market. I've been struggling with it and it's days are done. I'm so annoyed with it. Now I've decided to upgrade to what could be possibly the best electric golf push cart on the market, the Stewart Golf Q Follow. Let's get into it. So for this video, I'm gonna unbox it so you guys know what to expect when you get one. I'm then gonna do the car test, put it in my car and see how compact it is. From there, I'm gonna take it to the golf course and run it through a series of tests. Like I'll test its downhill capability, uphill capability. Will it follow me in tight areas around the green? All that fun stuff. So first, let's unbox it. So if you've seen any of my previous electric golf cart review videos. The last one that I reviewed, I actually ended up giving to our producer. Um, he didn't have an electric push cart and I was happy to finally get him one. So for this Q follow, I did get every accessory. So I got the umbrella holder, the travel bag, a drink holder, a ball holder, a phone holder. And I also got a new cart bag. So now I have two boxes to unbox. Let's dive into this. So I mentioned I got a new cart bag because one of the biggest troubles I've had in the past is putting my stand bag on some of these electric golf carts. It is recommended by Stuart Golf that you put a cart bag onto these carts instead of a stand bag. So that's what we're doing for this one. So that thing was really firmly packed and was super safe for its travel. Stuart Golf, if you don't know, is located in the United Kingdom. So it traveled halfway around the world and the packaging so far was awesome. Ooh, wow, wow. Already the first thing that I notice is the black is like a marble. This just looks like a super high class. It's not just a, a solid black. It's definitely like a, got some charcoals and some grays in it that it's got this really nice, really nice marbling color. So the Q follow does come with instructions on how to open it. I didn't want to start just pulling stuff apart because this thing is not cheap. This comes in at a whopping $3,800 Canadian or about 2,700 US. So. Okay, so they just have these little slides on the side. Okay, cool. Oh, sick. See what I mean? So I did get a couple accessories with the Q follow. One of them is a golf ball holder. The holder has two little hooks on it and there's already two little spots for the holder to go. So super easy to put that on. Another accessory I got is a water bottle holder. Same thing, there's already these pre-existing little circles. This has a small little hook on it. That's super easy for me to put it on, just pull it down. And now we got our water bottle set. So far, my first impressions of getting this out of the box is that this is a high class, high quality electric golf push cart. Just from the materials that it's built with and its ergonomics and the way that I took it all apart, it was nothing but first class. So I'm really excited to get this out onto the golf course. Another accessory I got for the Q follow is its phone holder. And at first when I took it out, I had some reservations on it. Come take a look. So this thing is like a rubber that you kind of just stretch these corners around your phone. At first I thought it looked kind of flimsy, but once I put my phone on it, it actually holds it really well. Yeah, crazy. So I did just start downloading the app too, because this is Bluetooth. The app is gonna show me like its battery life and how much longer I have to use it. So it's gonna be a cool feature that we're gonna utilize when we're using the QFollow. So since this is an electric golf push cart, it does come with a battery. The battery is quite big. I'm trying to guess how much this weighs. This is probably maybe 10 pounds. Um, the other ones that I've used in the past are like basically a car battery. And that's what my inexpensive one has right now. And it's so annoying to lug around where this doesn't feel too heavy. This is the bigger battery and you have two battery options. You have an 18 hole or a 36 hole. Since I play a lot of golf and I sometimes forget to charge my electric golf cart, I went with the bigger battery. And uh, it does also come with a charger. So you're pretty well set with everything that they send you. One other thing that we need that is imperative and crucial for the Q follow is the remote. So let's get this remote out, we'll see what it looks like. Cool, okay, so I don't know if this is like an all weather case. Like, I'm, I'm thinking that they want you to leave this thing on. I'm guessing it's all weather and there's some electric components in here. So I assume you just want to protect it, but I guess you do have the option of taking it out of the case or keeping it on. It does have indents in it. So it's definitely not just like plastic packaging that they want you to throw away. It looks like you can just fit this back inside and use it as so. So the 
remote control itself is rechargeable. It comes with a charging port. It has a USB hookup, so you can hook it up to like basically a phone charger or a wall charger and it's gonna recharge. So previous ones I've used have used like little AAA batteries where this is what you're gonna to wanna to charge. So when you're done your round of golf, you gotta take the battery and the remote. So what I've noticed with almost all carry golf bags is they have the push lever for the legs on the bottom of the bag and they always get activated when you throw them onto one of these carts, which is why most of these manufacturers, including Stewart Golf, recommend you get a cart bag. So that's what I'm switching to. It's a box inside of a box. So this is the Stewart Staff Pro bag. It's specific for the Q follow. Now, all I recommend is you use some type of cart bag. It's gonna be so much easier moving it all around and that's what these are built for. So again, this is the Staff Pro. We got the nice racing car red, black and gray accents, which are all right up my alley. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer all of my clubs over from my current bag into this guy. Then we're gonna be ready to go to the course. But before that, we're gonna do the car test. Okay, so I got our Stewart Golf Staff Pro Bag onto the Q-Follow. Now I'm ready to hook it up. Okay, so it comes with this nice gray rubber strap and this is super easy to assemble. All you're gonna do is pull it over onto this little buckle it gives you for the Q-Follow, super easy. The next step is on the bottom, whoops. And it's also another rubber strap. It's got a little handle on it where all I can do, put it over top of the bag and we're good to go. Now that I've got all my clubs transferred over into the new Staff Pro bag, we're pretty well to go to the course and start doing some tests. Before we do, I just wanted to take everything apart again, put it into my car, see how it fits there, give you guys an idea what to expect, then we'll go to the course. Now that I got the bag off, I'm gonna fold this guy back down so I can carry it to my car, super easy. There's a button on the back of here that'll fold this down and a second button on the side to get that there. This bag part will fold in, I'll put it back up on top and there is a little button for these wheels. Now we're good to go. So there's also a handle that makes it super easy to grab. From here, I can pick it up, take it to my car and Stuart Golf says this is about 30 pounds. So it's a good little workout, but hopefully we're not walking too far to put it into our car. Okay guys, to fit this into my car, I think so far the Q Follow and Stuart Golf has probably the best ergonomics and the best fold out of any electric golf push cart that I've reviewed so far. Super easy to fit into it. And what I love is underneath at the bottom, the wheels will help me move. So I'm not scraping anything in the back of my car. Now that we're loaded up, let's head over to the course. Okay guys, so I've been using the Q follow now for four holes at my home golf course of Country Hills in Calgary, Alberta. The golf course itself is quite hilly, so it's been a really good test for the Q follow. Let's talk about the three features that it has. The very first feature that I have to talk about is the follow feature. This is by far and away the best feature I've ever seen on any electric push cart. I was a little hesitant at first because you can't see the bag behind you. So all I did is I clipped the remote to the back of my belt loop or to the top of my shorts and it follows me everywhere that I go. I highly recommend only using this kind of tee to green, that you wanna use it in the flat open spaces. I don't recommend using it if you're in like a parking lot, if you're going over a bridge, if there's a super steep downslope, that's when you wanna use the other features. But as far as follow goes, it is the most awesome feature I've ever had on a golf cart. So the second mode I wanna talk about is the remote mode. So if I'm not using follow and I'm not pushing it manually, you're gonna to wanna to use the remote. It's been so easy to drive and if you've had any other electric push carts, it's just as easy. You have the up, down, left, right arrows. Something that is new that I haven't seen before, which Stewart Golf is offering, is two different stop features. There is a big stop button in the center of the remote. That's gonna be a very abrupt, fast stop. They also have a glide stop. So I've noticed just in using the remote that when I hit stop, it is pretty jerky. If it's going pretty quick and I hit stop, it's gonna slam on its brakes. If you get used to hitting the glide stop, I think there's gonna be less wear and tear on the Q follow. Using the remote is awesome. If it's far ahead of you down the middle of a fairway, it can go as far as 50 meters, which is a huge length to be away from the Q follow. It's also great around greens. If you're walking up with your putter, you wanna steer the Q follow around the greens. It's super easy to maneuver and I find that it turns on a dime. This is by far the best electric golf push cart that I've used for a turn radius. This thing turns on a dime, like I mentioned, left, right, so quick. It's easily the best that I've seen of any of its competitors. 
So the last way to move the cart is via the manual mode. Manual means me physically having to hold on to the cue follow. In order to move the cue follow, I still have to use the remote. To do that, I'll just press the up arrow to get it going. Then I can hold on to the cue follow. It is so easy to steer left and right. This handle area has a lot of flexation that it's super easy to turn corners. This is great for bridges, um, the parking lot, anywhere with steep slopes that you'd be concerned of possibly losing the cue follow or bumping into anything. So from the follow feature to the remote feature to the manual feature, all have been so easy to use and I've only played about five holes. I'm gonna become a much more experienced driver the more that I use it, but it's very beginner friendly if you're considering getting a cue follow. So some common questions that I've seen about the Q follow is, is it good on hills? Since where I play is a very hilly course, hence country hills, it actually has a stability bar inside the Q follow that's gonna help assist breaking down hills. So is it good on hills? Absolutely. Something different I've seen with the Q follow compared to a lot of other um, electric golf push carts is that it can only be moved with the remote control. There are no dials on the Q follow itself. You have to use the remote. So even if you want to use that manual function, you still have to press up on the arrow and then you can grab it and stop using the remote. It's different and unique. I wouldn't say it's neither good nor bad. It's just different. So another cool feature about the Q follow what Stewart Golf offers is their own app. Inside the app, you can check out your battery life on your battery. So the battery that I have on this is the 36 hole. So it says, depending on your play, you should get minimum 36 holes out of one charge. The remote itself, you'll get for another two to three rounds, but they do recommend charging it after every single round. Let's say I'm on the 18th hole of my 36 that I'm playing and I'm not sure how much life I have left, I can open up the app and it'll tell me where I'm sitting. Okay guys, I played my nine holes and here's my overall thoughts on the Stewart Golf Q Follow. It is easily the best electric golf push cart I have ever used top to bottom. Why is it the best? It starts with the quality of just the way that it's built. I can tell that there's some real craftsmanship behind how it was built and it feels fantastic on the course. One feature that I really like about the Q follow is the scorecard holder. The scorecard holder has a flap and the scorecard stays underneath, which I really prefer. If it was a windy day, I'm definitely not gonna lose my scorecard. And that's just one small little feature I do like about this. If I wanted to check my battery life, I could pull out my phone and I have exactly 83% battery life. I only played nine holes, so no problem. I can get another 27 holes out of my current battery life. I love the way that this thing drives. There was no pull right or left and I have a very hilly course and it stays very straight. I love the remote. The remote is awesome. It turns on a dime, easily has the best turning radius out of any electric golf push cart I've used. It also stops on a dime and thank goodness they give you that second stop option so it eases into the stop instead of kind of that jerky stop. Driving it with a remote, super easy. Pushing it manually also felt great. The handle, has some really good give, and it's really easy to maneuver once this thing is moving. I've had other push cards where I've had to pick them up and steer them, not the case with the Q follow. Last but not least, the follow function is why this is worth all the money. When you're in the middle of the fairway and the remote is on the back of your hip, you're walking, you forget that you even have a golf bag with you. It's legit like having a real caddy on the course. The only thing it doesn't do is pull the club out of the bag for you. Now, how do you justify spending this price tag for this unit? I guess it depends on what you're willing to pay for the absolute best. I have no problem saying that this is the best electric golf push cart I've used. And how do you put a price tag on that? I think it's very fair value for all of the features that you get and the quality backs it up. Overall, I'm 100% recommending the Q follow. I think Stuart Golf makes fantastic electric push carts and bags. I didn't even touch about the bag. It's a very fantastic bag from all of the storage it has and it fits obviously perfect. It's the same company, Stuart Golf. I would 100% recommend this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't already, smash subscribe and like it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks again. We'll check in with you next time. See you guys.